wow, these things are cool. Look at that one right there. Look at the pattern on that thing. Holy moly. <laughs> Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome to the vlog. How has the start of your day been? I hope it has absolutely been amazing. And for those of you that like unboxing videos, and in particular snake unboxing videos, well I think you're going to enjoy this video. We actually just have one shipment of snakes, but there's some really cool snakes, and there happen to be a pair of snakes that I am super excited about. It's something that I kept when I was really young, like literally 15 or 16 years old, but it was a wild animal and it didn't do well for me. Now I got the opportunity opportunity to pick up a pair of captive babies that you just don't see around very often and I was super excited I said of course I'm gonna take them so I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this shipment of snakes here in one second what do you say we have an amazing day together push all your problems aside for the rest of this vlog and let's have some fun can you do me a favor down in the comments let me know how your day is let me know something about you guys because you know I love you guys and I love reading about you and I comment back to as many people as I possibly can while you're down there can you do me a favor and smash Smash that like button. Let's get this video as many likes as possible. I know you guys can do it. What do you say? We just go ahead and jump right in and open up this box of snakes. Noah, I need you for something. Noah. Noah? Are you, are you all right? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? What? What time what is it? Are you freaking sleeping? What time is it? It's like work time. Sorry, I was live streaming on Twitch till like 6 a.m. Oh my god, Stop. get up, I need your help. Alrighty guys, here it is, the box, and I am excited to open it. And by the way, for those of you that see that this is a fish styro, this isn't the place that I got it from, it was just a recycled box. Some people do that, they just take like fish styros and stuff like that. I just didn't want you to be calling these people saying, oh my god, I want to get some snakes like that, because they don't sell snakes, they sell fish. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump right into this and see what's in here. Oh boy, I've got some pretty snakes here. Oh my gosh, there's some really beautiful ones. Let me preference by saying we had a whole bunch of these recently, but we sold basically all of them. So when more were available, I said I gotta take them because they only come around for a very short period of time uh, because they're a seasonal breeder. And of course, that is guys right here. Amazon tree boas. Oh my gosh. And there's some real beauties in here. And that's the thing that's nice about Amazon tree boas is that literally you can have one litter and you can have, you know, 15 or 20 babies and there could be radically different things. So this is going to be a real pleasure to see what's going on. And then of course, I'm going to show you those couple snakes that I'm really excited about that are not Amazon tree boas. Oh, look at these little monkeys here. Oh, they are so cute. Oh my gosh. Take a look at the color on that thing. That thing is absolutely incredible. Oh my gosh. And there again, they're so skinny with their heads. But the last ones we got in all just ate like crazy good and did so well. And it was amazing how quickly they grew. Take a look at the pattern on that one right there. I mean, that thing is beautiful. It's a dark animal, but it's got that really cool orange pattern on it. I mean, that thing is awesome. I mean, take a look at these two right here. I mean, they're very similarly colored. Oh, be careful, little buddy. But you can see the pattern is radically different on them. That one is pretty well started. It's a little feisty monkey, isn't it? Oh, gosh, they're so beautiful and so gorgeous. Oh, I love little Amazon tree boas. Oh. Look at this right here. Oh my gosh, is that thing cool or what? Look at how awesome that animal is right there. How freaking awesome. And they're so feisty when they're this size. And again, I always talk about that little skinny, tiny neck. It's almost strange, like you can't think that it could take a pinky down. But I promise you, ooh, be careful, little monkey. This thing is so cool. But I promise you, they eat like crazy and they do really, really well. And you'd be surprised at how large of a meal an animal this size can literally take a fuzzy mouse down. So you would think like something like this would be a pinky but be honest it actually will take a fuzzy i mean oh my gosh these guys are so cool but we have plenty more to look at moving on to the next one. Oh my gosh there is some gorgeous whoo oh my gosh these are some crazy cool ones right here oh my gosh holy moly that is such an intricate pattern take a look at that animal right there that thing is crazy just that red pattern on it is nuts wow i tell you what these are some good ones and that's the thing when you're getting them you never know what you're gonna get right because they're so polymorphic and we'll be setting these guys up and they'll be on the website in a few weeks when they start eating and are well established so you guys can see all the pictures of these amazing individual ones right on the website oh my gosh 
Woo, doggy. Look at those. Oh my gosh, these guys are so freaking awesome. And the difference between these and like green tree pythons or emerald tree boas is quite frankly, you know, they're just not as big of an animal. They're not born as kind of husky. Ooh, these things are crazy. But they're also not as arboreal. So when you do set up an arboreal cage, you'll find quite a bit of time that they actually spend the time on the ground as well, which is no big deal. They'll still climb up in the trees and stuff like that. But for a tree boa, they'll spend an unbelievable amount of time on the ground which is kind of crazy and this one is crazy cool holy moly i freaking oh this is one i might keep guys i love this take a look at the pattern on that thing i mean it's really got that beautiful reddish color but man those pattern on that that's one i don't think i've ever seen one quite like that before so i might have to hang on to these like there's probably two or three in this batch that are kind of like all right i'm gonna probably hang on to these things because they are just absolutely ridiculous Ooh, and speaking oh my gosh another really reddish looking one oh my gosh these things are so cool ow you little feisty bugger you oh my gosh this thing is so cool just take a look at the pattern again it's not quite as red as that last one but this one's pattern is really awesome and again that's something you don't see a lot a lot of times with the redder animals you don't have as intricate as pattern so these guys are really spectacular oh my gosh i love them and oh this one's really neat this one isn't like a reddish one but it's got some really beautiful colors and patterns throughout it wow these things are cool look at that one right there there. Look at the pattern on that thing. Holy moly. That thing is so cool. Oh my god, I am tripping out right now. There are so many beautiful animals here. Ooh, these are really neat too. Look at the pattern on that thing. Oh my gosh, I love it. A lot of times you'll just see kind of pattern down the dorsal, but some of these guys have pattern all the way down their sides, which makes them really interesting. I wonder how they're going to change as they get older. I mean, holy cow, I really like those. Ouch! I really like those too. These guys are awesome. Oh man, and I tell you what, these are those good ones that are like almost like a Coke can red. I mean, and these will breed true. You know, if we breed like red animals together or orange animals, typically you can get more red and orange animals. Uh, a lot of the other colors and patterns kind of mix and they're really polymorphic and stuff like that. But oh my gosh, and even this more tan one is really beautiful. It's got some really great pattern to it. But take a look at this one here. I mean, that thing is so freaking nice. I mean, that's so good. And again, it's just really a red color that's just going to get more and more beautiful. I tell you what, I am super excited about it. We ended up getting 50 of those little guys, and these were all of them that he had. Oh gosh, look at these. Speaking of gorgeous, look at these right here. Oh my gosh, these are so freaking nice. Oh! Look at these little monkeys love biting. That's for darn sure. Look at the pattern on the back of this one here. Just that red, rich pattern with the contrast. I mean, these things are freaking insane. I couldn't be more happy with this shipment. I mean, there's some beautiful ones. And I know Eric and Mary in particular, they're probably going to be picking about three or four of these out because it seems like every time I get stuff like this in, they're like, we got to get some of those. They love them, which is really cool. I love it. Ouch! Gosh, you guys bite so much. Rather than going through each and every one of the 50 little tree bows, I showed you a bunch of really cool ones. Again, they'll be on our website pretty soon. You can literally go and look at each individual picture and really gawk at them if you'd like. I certainly will be doing the same. But I wanted to share with you these guys here. This is that pair of snakes that I am so excited about. Oh my gosh. Oh, these things are gorgeous right here. All right, so before I tell you guys, go ahead and comment down below and let me know what you think these guys are. Again, going back to when I was a kid, 15, 16 years old, probably my fourth or fifth snake I ever got was a wild caught one of these that came from the pet shop I worked at. And back then the wild caught stuff was horrible. I mean, it hardly ever lived and the animal came in, it was beat up. I actually took it because it was beat up. I felt bad for it. I ended up keeping it for a while. It never did well. I probably spent $500 on vet bills and unfortunately the animal didn't live which really sucked and it really bummed me out because again I was new to the game and losing an animal like that was so difficult and literally I've not had another one since this is the first time I've had this particular one and of course this is a red tail boa you guys probably guessed that one but more specifically this is actually a locality a Guiana red tail boa now the Guiana red tail boa is the reason why I kind of always liked them is because they're, they're a really purplish animal. They have really wide widow peak saddles compared to a lot of the other red tails. 
and the actual color of their body is a little more maroon as they get older. This tail right here, as it gets older, oh my gosh, it is gonna turn like a purplish red color. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, personally, I think that the Guianas are kind of one of my favorite of the true red tail boas. I love the Suriname stuff, I love the Brazilian, I love all of them, I really, really do. But there's just something about the Guianas that I absolutely love. So I am gonna go ahead and set these guys up. They are fresh, fresh babies. You can see they haven't even shed their first shed yet. So they've got a ways to go. But there it is, guys, my ship in a reptile. I hope that you enjoyed this unboxing. Let me know down in the comments if you're as excited as I am about these animals. And what do you think of my, my new Guiana red tail boas? As well as which one of these beautiful Amazon tree boas did you like the best? The red ones, the gray ones, the pattern ones, the blushing ones, who knows what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys set up. That was freaking awesome. Hey, Eric, have you seen Noah? Listen, man, how are you sleep in the other aisle? What? Oh, she gotta keep it down, he's trying to sleep. Noah, where are you at? Noah, where are you? What the heck are you doing up there? Hey. Noah, wake up. Dude, I told you I was up late streaming. I need to rest. Come on, we got work to do. And how the heck did you get up there? 15 more Get down, minutes. no, get, more get down right now. Come on, 10. All right, so a couple updates really quick. Remember I pulled aside my blue-eyed leucistic and a ghost pastel female and said that I was gonna bring you guys along on the journey for breeding them. And I figure I'll update you guys once a week or so, just doing an ultrasound, tell you what got bred that week and so on like that so you guys can follow the entire thing along. And if you remember, the blue-eyed leucistic actually only had 10 millimeter follicles, so she was early on. And at that point, she hadn't actually had a copulation. So this week, actually, a super Enchi pinstripe did breed her, which is really awesome. And let's see if her follicles grew at all. Again, she was at 10 millimeters a week ago. All right, guys, so this is absolutely great news. She actually grew all the way to 14 millimeters. Now, what happens is you can see right here, there's a big 14 millimeter follicle, and then there's some smaller ones. This one's probably about 10 millimeters, and that often happens. You know, she might have eight or nine follicles that are growing, and sometimes they can grow at different rates, and I'll often see that one follicle kind of explodes and gets a little bit bigger, and then the other ones catch up to them over a few day period. So this is really good that she went from 10 millimeters to 14 in one week, even though the majority of her follicles are still at 10. This is a great sign. So let's hope this is good. And with the breeding that just happened, that should even increase the follicles more. So we'll check back up on her in about a week, but you're doing absolutely great, girl. Let's go ahead and check the ghost pastel that was at 17 millimeters last week. All right, so this is the girl here. This is, again, a ghost pastel, which is a hypo and a pastel. And she actually was bred a couple weeks ago. This week, no breedings whatsoever, but you can see she's starting to go opaque. Now at 17 millimeters going into shed, that can be a good thing or a bad thing. This is kind of the chronicles of a snake breeder. So I'm trying to teach you guys. So basically what happens is that when they start to shed around 20 millimeters, either they're gonna explode and go from 20 to 30 millimeters in no time, or unfortunately, sometimes when they shed around 20 millimeters, they go backwards in what they call reabsorbing eggs, which is a term that may or may not be the case. They don't really reabsorb anything, but the follicles go backwards. So let's hope that she's actually gonna start growing a lot this next time. And the breeding in the next week, as soon as she's out of shed, will really help cement the fact that the follicles are grow, but let's go ahead and see if she grew it all. Again, she was 17 millimeters last week, so fingers crossed. All right, so good news with this girl too. She actually went from 17 to 20 millimeters and the actual follicles herself start to look a little bit more organized. And that's basically just years of seeing follicles. I mean, they start to look mature at some point. And I just have seen the difference between follicles that look like they're gonna go and follicles that look like they're gonna go backwards. In this case, these follicles look really good. So I'm really excited. So hopefully she'll shed out, she'll breed. And then the next time here in a week or 10 days when we update you again, I have a feeling she's gonna be at like 24, 26 millimeters, which is really good. So there's your update on the two females. We're gonna follow right through the breeding season. All right, I'm looking for Noah again. I have no idea where he's at. Oh, Noah, what the heck are you doing, man? Wake up. Man, I've told you two other times. I was up all night streaming. All right, so the deal is, guys, Noah's been staying up like half the night streaming on Twitch. So can you do me a personal favor? If you're into gaming, can you go ahead and follow Noah? And what's your name out there? Bad Choice Noah on Twitch.tv. <laughs> of course. I, I'm going to let Noah just go back to sleep. 
All, all right, right, sleep it away. Uh, you guys can catch him tonight because he'll be up all night on Twitch. So definitely please do me a favor and follow him. Another update that's kind of cool that I wanted to talk to you guys about is remember a week or so ago, I also told you that I was going to start eating clean and I wanted to go a little bit, not a diet, but just a change of pace and try to lean up a little bit. Well, in the last week, I did lose almost seven pounds. So I thought I would give you guys that update. Uh, I am well on my way. Like I told you, I want you guys to hold me accountable. So I'm going to continue to update you guys and you can encourage me to continue on getting in shape so that I feel better about myself and just more energy like I need more energy right but the point is is that I definitely wanted to trim up I still have about 12 or 15 more pounds before I feel like I'm going to be comfortable but I will continue to update you guys and another little thing is it's kind of cool is that we're at that stage where we're raising a bunch of snakes and Eric is now feeding them and kind of bringing them up we actually moved a bunch of our razors from little shoe boxes into the slightly bigger size cages so that means that we're definitely taking the steps towards adulthood Pretty soon they'll go from these cages into the adult cages and good. So I'm super excited about it. And by the way, look at this animal here. This is that really cool mosaic cow king that we had. That one really wide striped animal. Ooh. It just bit me too. It's looking really good. So I'm excited. These animals are all coming up and they'll be breeders probably next year. So uh, we have a lot of really cool stuff. Sometime I'll go ahead and update you on what we're raising up. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. I hope that you guys have an absolutely amazing rest of your day, morning, evening, whenever you happen to be watching it. And I hope that you enjoy getting these new snakes along with me because I certainly did. They are absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for all the support you show me and watching and doing all of those things you guys are amazing and I love you so much. Can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here? Can you smash that like button as well as turn on those post notifications so you know when I upload a video which is every day seven days a week at nine o'clock in the morning Eastern Standard Time. Remember to be kind to someone today and I promise I'm going to see you guys tomorrow.